Hello and welcome to the ASC weekly number seven. We are in the diamond division. That's right, we've made it to week number seven, folks. And uh, from the looks of it, we're going to be making it to week eight next week. And uh, we'll probably have some cool announcements for you guys, so stay tuned for those. Uh, but right now, we're going into the round of 64, which is pretty epic for diamond players. Awesome. Good to see the ASC weekly growing. Uh, like this. So yeah, we're going to the round of 64 here, which is going to be a best of one. <laughs> and uh, at the bottom left, we have the, the purple Zerg. We have Mr. Katu uh, himself and his opponent. Also is also a Zerg. Also a Zerg. We have the yellow Zerg here, Mr. Schlude, who I believe is a veteran of the uh, ASC Weekly Diamond Division. He's played in, a, in several at this point, so glad to see him back. I am Simpatico. And I am Vorapsak. Vorapsak is um, the lead admin slash programmer slash kind of do-it-all kind of guy for the ASC Weekly. Helps us out quite a bit. Um, doesn't cast uh, too much, uh, but when he does, uh, we feel great grateful for his presence. Um, so, you, you know a little bit more about uh, a ZVZ than I do. Uh, I'm a Terran player. I don't know that too much about a Zerg vs. Zerg. But uh, from what I what I have casted thus far and how uh, Zeltsum has kind of educated me, it's uh, it basically goes Ling against Ling against Bane Ling against Bane Ling against Roach, Roach, then maybe some Hydras tossed in there as well. Um, and, and I know you've played some ZVZs, so... Uh, any any ideas on what these guys are doing? We did we did have Katsu getting his pool, uh, sorry, gas before pool, and uh, no gas yet for Schlude here. So you you think this is just going to be an all in or what? Just kind of well, not all in, but uh, rush. I don't think it's really a rush exactly. I think what it is is Schlude did the uh, the ten pool. It I didn't. So I didn't notice whether it was a regular 10 pool, like what I do in team games, or if it was the 10 over pool sort of thing, where you get a pool and an overlord, and everything works out. I think it was just a regular 10 pool. So he's going to have Ling's out earlier. He may or may not be able to get anything good with Donald. Oh my uh, god. And Ketu did a, a regular 13 guess 13 pool. Those Ling's are there just early enough to do a little bit of damage, but they don't look like they're going to get any drone kills, actually. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, <clears throat> I think and... one drone went down. That that uh, didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go. Now with Lynx popping out for Katu, uh, there isn't going to be a whole lot left. And uh, Katu sacrificed so much to get Lynx out that early. Gas just finishing now. Uh, so Lynx speed for Katu is going to be out uh, a lot sooner, which is going to give him uh, quite an advantage. Sending a, a handful of Lynx over to his opponent to see what is up, uh, see what they can do. Spinecrawler going down. Now that did force a Spinecrawler for Katu. Um, I don't know if he was going to do that anyway. It's a little bit strangely placed back here. Um, unless, I guess, maybe he's expecting a lot more pressure, which uh, isn't really going to come. Two queens blocking the ramp here. Uh, nice defense there. Uh, although, I mean, he, they kind of would have had enough lings to uh, to defend you anyway. Schlud also getting a uh, spine crawler. So we're looking at 14 drones apiece. Uh, 18 to 21. I mean, that didn't that didn't do a whole lot either way. Game is still very very even. Neither player uh, expanding as of yet. Although, is that a, yeah? I don't think Schlude has uh, yeah. Schlude has an extra queen out. Uh, Roach Warren now going down for Katu. So it doesn't look like we're gonna see a lot of uh, Baneling Ling micro epicness at the beginning of this game as we ha <laughs> we saw last week in the uh, uh, in the, in some of the ZVZs that we casted. Uh, yeah, one thing about the uh, the going to the 10 pool is that you really are betting entirely on doing significant economic damage, and if you don't do enough to at least break even, you're going to have a horrible, horrible disadvantage going into the mid-game. And Katu managed to just barely pull even, so he's going to be on a kind of even footing. But it looks like he's going to be a little bit behind in tech for at least a little while now. Uh, Katu getting his expansion down, so it looks like at least for... Uh, he's going to be ahead economically very shortly here, and not sac doesn't look like he's sacrificing too much uh, to get that. He's he's a little bit behind in drones, uh, but hopefully he has the game sense to kind of feel that there's not going to be any pressure coming up uh, anytime soon. Oh, we do have a very quick spire going down though. Looks like Schlute is going to be heavily one basing this, uh, and this could actually do quite a bit of damage considering roaches can't shoot up. It's like peeing into the wind. They, they shoot up, and then the acid falls back down and burns their little faces. Uh, it's quite um, it's 
not, it's 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 terrifying to watch actually. Um, it's one of the saddest things a lizard can do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's actually stockpiling uh, lava right now. Probably gonna spend uh, everything he can on mutalisks and go for go for a win because if he can just fly those over there and yeah, uh, Katu has no idea about that spire. Um, so theoretically, he's he he might just be looking for a standard, you know, uh, Roach kind of Hydra game. And often we see uh, Mutalisk coming out a little bit, a lot later. Uh, but Schlub getting a Roach Horn of his own, he's he's really really one basing this. I mean, he's gonna have to push and, and make something happen pretty soon. Otherwise, um, otherwise he's just gonna be so far behind economically. And and with not uh, nearly as much uh, production, but uh, still no second queen out for for Schlude, Actually, come to think of it, oh yeah, never mind. He has a second queen. Where is it? There it is. Um, I guess it had just popped. Um, so yeah, Katu, if he can withhold the the timing push that looks like it's going to be coming with all. Nope, these are just a bunch of drones. What? Yeah, there, there's the meters. Meters. There they coming out now. Four meters on the way. And uh, we'll see what this can do. I imagine there's going to be some spore crawlers going down in a panic. Um, yeah, Kaido wants to be a little bit careful with spore crawlers that he doesn't overreact with them as yeah, well. One will do, honestly. Well placed. And here we go. They're going to start taking out some drones. Going to go for the queen. Queen's running back. Unfortunately, these the the, the natural uh, and the main is not connected with creep, so. Uh, that uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer for that second queen to come down, but these mutalisks are doing uh, some decent damage, getting a bunch of drone kills cool. there, and now gonna go Hydra's for the lords. For Katu. Yeah, Hydra's out now. Uh, nice reaction there. Uh, so basically, these mutalisks aren't gonna be that great. I mean, I really don't know how Schlude's gonna be able to come back from this, uh, being this economically far behind. I mean, that being said. Um, Katu's drones uh, has not been droning up. It's 30 to 24, and uh, and with the and th there we go. Schlude planting his uh, his um, hatchery down now at the natural. So um, let's see if he can catch up. I actually wouldn't be too surprised uh, if he could, just because he he has a lot more drones. His income uh, the incomes are even. He's not oversaturated really. I mean, he's getting to that point now, but. Um, so I don't think I don't think Schlude's gonna be behind economically for too long at all. Uh, and these Milos are coming around more, gonna t made harass this uh, extractor, going for the drone line now. And his own Sim City is actually harming him. Uh, those Hydralisks having a hard time getting through that, <laughs> getting through all of this, all these buildings. But they do get, manage to get a kill or two there and push them away. Yeah, I think those Mutas definitely paid for themselves though. Uh... Mm -hmm. If you look at the harvest, actually, if you look at the harvester count now, Whoa. um, Shulud <laughs> has fallen way behind. There was a giant round of drones for Katu, and now he's just cruising in the lead. And he's got hydras, which are going to shut down mutalisks in any direct engagement, and also be able to help defend against harass really well. And he also has the ability to build roaches, and I think that's really going to give a little bit of an advantage, at least for now to Katu, but that's a lot of roaches outside Schlute's natural. If he decides to push with those, he could do a little bit of damage right now. Um, I wow, re another full round of yeah, drones for that's, Katu. That's 41 over 28 drones right now. Um, I, I'm really surprised Schlute, uh has decent overlord placement. He knows that there's not really any aggression coming, and he's he not droning up, but he's just going to push now. Um, and with uh, similar, they have similar army counts, meaning... Uh, and with double the drones for Katu, that means his, his standing army is a lot smaller. So here we go, Roach is coming in. Uh, not as his whole army isn't attacking at once, so Katu's army is going to get. Uh, oh, but these Hydras coming back and uh, gonna reinforce, get a bunch of damage while the Roaches up front soak a lot of it up, but it's just not gonna be enough. These Hydras are gonna melt to this acid spray from Schlud. He's gonna go in and uh, basically, <laughs> uh, even the, have the drone count here. And Katu's gonna probably GG out here in just a second. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really any way you can come back from I, this. He's just saying, you know, oh, I played, I played bad. Well, I mean, you know, t tournament nerves, tournament uh, nerves kick in at uh, most inopportune um, times. Usually during tournaments, I think. <laughs> um, 
And it gets people so... worse when they're being casted as well. So that's rough too. <laughs> uh, Alright, so congratulations to Mr. Schlude for moving on to the round of 32. Congratulations. Congratulations. Make more marauders, marauders dude.